Welcome back everyone. We have a new item today that I'm very excited to share with you and that is the Mullis B100 bicolored video light from June. That's right, that took me some practice but I have been in Japan before. I was probably spent about a total of five years there and actually asked one of my friends how they would say it. That is from there and they said June. So June. Yeah, anyways, just to save you some time, if you're a lighting assistant or work with the crew and need to fine tune your green and magenta compensation, then you might want to keep looking because this light does not provide that feature. Well, with the new cooling fan design, form factor, and less to carry, we have a great lighting for YouTubers and small content creators. But, but, does this mean you can't use this for pro environments? Well, stick with me. I have a solution. Small disclaimer, yes, Jun sent this to me, but they left it to me to give an honest review, so they didn't give me any input. There's been a slew of reviewers being perceived as dishonest lately because they're just not giving enough information, which comes across as sketchy because they could be hiding something or they just don't spend the proper time becoming familiar with whatever they're reviewing. I like working with June because they don't try to persuade you to stick to specific talking points. I've told other potential sponsors to go fly a kite in the past, so when I review something, they're getting what they asked for, an honest review. I will get off my soapbox now. As for installation, I think you can handle the three pieces in the package. The light itself, the reflector cup, and the power cord. Not a whole lot of science there. Starting with the build quality, I love the compact size and industrial looking body. They've had issues with prior models like the Molus G series that gets dangerously hot and the fans get a little loud. Placed it on the floor, on a rug, <laughs> and I melted the rug within about 10 seconds. But I must say, these issues are cleaned up with this model. Some might think that the three fans might be a little bit too loud, but they're really on par with my Godox SL60 and the newer SL60 at around 42.2 decibels on average, but neither of those lights are bicolored. I can hear the fans in a completely silent room from about 10 feet away, but nothing a bit of room noise leveling won't take care of. Now speaking of those fans, they implemented a cooling system called the Dynavort Mark V that increases cooling efficiency allowing for the smaller footprint. But again, if it's not the heat, it's fan noise, so take your pick when looking for heavier or more expensive lighting options. Although the body is plastic, it remains sturdy, yet light coming in at 2.8 pounds. This is around 70% lighter than most average lights of this strength. As I mentioned, this light is great for smaller situations, and I'm so glad to have this in my studio. I'm constantly moving things around to adjust for different lighting situations, and having a lighter, more maneuverable device is so helpful to me. It's only going to be as cumbersome as the compatible Bowens apparatus attached to it. One of the cool things about this light for lighter jobs is it only has one power cord. You do not have to bother with converter boxes and extra gear. Now one bad thing is it only has a 120 watt power cord like a PC, which is also a sign that this is not a pro light and definitely not portable. There's a USB-C port, but it is used for K1 wire controllers, but there are no DTAP delivery options for a V-mount battery or anything like that. June advertises, quote, freeing you from the constraints of external power and tangled wires. Okay, good. If you have a battery pack with a three-pronged plug or your single AC cable, you're good. Otherwise, it needs to be plugged into a wall. To me, this kind of takes away from having such a small portable form factor when you can't extend the possibilities of using the batteries that you can attach to the stand and take outside. 
Now for color temperatures, it ranges from 2700 Kelvin to 6500 Kelvin, which is great for much of what I do as an amateur video creator. But as I mentioned earlier, if you need to fine tune the green and magenta compensation, it doesn't allow for this. If you have more than one Molus light, then using the app is effortless. Where you run into issues is matching the compensation with other lights. If you have other lights that you wanna augment this with, you might wanna keep looking or match the compensation of all of your other lights to match this light and problem solved. Say what? As for brightness, with the reflector, you'll have 20,600 lux. And without the reflector, you have 4160 lux, which is slightly higher of the 4100 I get from both my Godox and my Neo SL60Ws. The dials provide stepless scrolling for color temperature and brightness. They can be pressed in increments of 20 to quickly adjust to your liking or just regular but accurate scrolling for fine tuning. The ZY Vega app is simple and with this particular model, it only controls temperature and brightness. It may eventually control the advertised 13 lighting effects on their website, but as of making this video, there's no option for them in the app. Although there are pre-programmed temperatures for specific purposes, you can also tweak and save your own to return to your favorite and consistent settings for every situation. As of making this video, the pre-order price was $229, and I think it's priced on par with other lights of the same class. Now, you have to keep in mind, you're getting an accurate bicolored lighting and better cooling system. You have very little to move around your studio or set, and it has Bluetooth controllability in which groups of these are easy to set up and manage. The fans control the heat dissipation so well that June was able to decrease the size of the body that in most cases of lights the same class are up to twice as large to accommodate internal power converters. If this one is not for you and you need more light, then June has released an entire Molus series that I'm sure you're aware of that provides three other models, the B200, the B300, and the B500. So check those out as well. So do you think this is worth your effort? I couldn't tell you, but for me, it's great due to the size, strength, and bicolored capabilities. You'll make that decision for yourself. I sure hope you enjoyed this video, and if you gained any value, please help me out by hitting the like button, and if you like what you see here, please join our community by subscribing. Thanks for watching, and I will see you all in the next video.